This year's South by Southwest trade show brought together many small and global companies with computer hardware and information technology backgrounds, as well as creative industries that produce art, music, and movies. Show visitors got an inside look at the newest innovations in mobile social media platforms and applications, open source web content management systems, professional audio and video technologies, but my focus was to find companies creating innovative computer hardware, PC and Mac peripherals, and other gadgets that may interest our readers. Dell showcased their latest XPS 13 Ultrabook that is constructed from aluminum and carbon fiber and includes Gorilla Glass over the 13.3 inch wide LED display. Consumers can upgrade the solid state drive to 256 gigabytes and configure it to use an Intel i5 2467M processor running at 1.6 gigahertz or an i7 2637M CPU running at 1.7 gigahertz. Dell also had several Alienware M14X gaming laptops on display with an entry-level Intel Core i5-2430M processor running at 2.4 GHz, 4 gigs of DDR3-1333 memory, and an NVIDIA GT-555M graphics card. Seagate Technology brought their line of GoFlex mobile storage solutions and showed off their 500GB GoFlex satellite wireless storage drive that wirelessly connects to home and office networks. It can also stream up to three high-definition movies to three different devices at the same time without any lag. Free agent 1TB SATA external storage drives running in RAID 0 and connected together using a pair of GoFlex Thunderbolt adapters. The external hard drives alone are available in USB 2.0 and 3.0 and up to 4TB in storage space for backing up primary hard drives. They also come with automatic backup software that is encrypted for increased data security. Otterbox intrigued Expo visitors with a Plinko-style game to win Otterbox backpacks, pens, and badge holders. One of the most interesting cases they displayed was for Apple's new iPad that was made available to the public on March 16th. This particular Defender series case includes a built-in screen protector, durable silicone, and two polycarbonate layers that snap together to encase the new iPad and protect it from different types of impact and shock. Otterbox also displayed their entire line of Defender, Reflex, Commuter, and Impact Series cases for tablets and smartphones. DOS Keyboard had their entire line of silent, ultimate, and professional mechanical keyboards at the trade show. The main product they were pushing seemed to be the Model S Professional Silent Keyboard that blended high-end mechanical key switches that are much quieter than other models in their lineup. This model is available on their website for $135. I also stopped by a new startup called HingeDocs that specializes in vertical docking stations for MacBooks and MacBook Pros. All of the vertical docking stations can be used with all three MagSafe power connectors and support legacy MacBooks as well as the new 13-inch, 15-inch, and 17-inch MacBook Pros. These vertical docking stations start at $59.95 for the 13-inch model and $74.95 for the 17-inch model. Audio Technica didn't disappoint with their line of condenser microphones. One of their mid-range condenser mics on hand was the AT2050, which retails for $369 and includes switchable settings for cauteroid, omnidirectional, and figure eight patterns. Many of the products and applications on hand at this year's trade show illustrated how companies are leveraging new hardware and software available in today's PCs, tablets, and smartphones. It will be interesting to see how many other PC hardware vendors take advantage of this annual event to reach new audiences with their products. This is Steve Griever from PC Perspective. Thanks for watching.